Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right guys, we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna start with what we call, or what I call, minor cropping. Now minor cropping is just basically making small crops to kind of correct lines and horizons on your image. So we're not taking out very much megapixels, we're just making small adjustments. Now I have exercise file 1-2 selected here and we're in our develop module. I'm gonna hit F twice to go to full screen mode. I'm gonna hit F5 once to remove my identity plate so we have a little bit extra working room. And uh, if your information is showing up and it's bugging you, like up here in the top left, just hit I twice to toggle it to no information. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is hit R to jump into our cropping tool. And we can have a few options with cropping. None of the images in this tutorial series really have, you know, messed up horizon lines or anything that needs severe cropping or adjustments. But we can do a little bit of fixing on some of these images. So we have the option to either drag just manually and try and line it up uh, by eye. Or we can do what I like to do, which is use this straighten tool when we have a nice line to straighten with. So I'm going to hit Alt, Control, R to reset my crop that I just set. And what we're going to do is grab our straighten tool, and we're going to click and drag on a straight line across that horizon line. Now, if you guys have issues clicking and dragging on a straight line or walking on a straight line or whatever, this probably isn't the right tool for you. So just do it manually. So once we let go, let's check it out. We can test and look at our horizon line just by hitting O to switch to a different overlay. I like to use the grid overlay to kind of view my horizon line, just make sure it's all good. And it looks like it's pretty good. I see over on this side, we have a few pixels going above that line. On this side, we have a few pixels going above that line. We might have a tiny bit more on this side, so I'm just gonna pull it just a tiny bit back. And uh, that's fine right there. We've done a very minor cropping adjustment to this. I'm gonna hit R to close my cropping overlay, and it looks fine. I mean, it looked fine previously, but at least we have a few techniques on how to crop an image. So let's save this as a new snapshot. Like I said, from here on out, we're gonna save everything that we do as different snapshots for all of our images. So we're gonna call this Minor Crop. Let's go and check out the rest of our images in our uh, library module by hitting G. Let's just see if there's anything else that needs a cropping adjustment. So I'm gonna go to my loop view just by double clicking on an image. This one's fine. Uh, image 2-15. This one needs a little bit of a crop adjustment. So let's click R. And now what we're going to do is using this grid overlay. Remember to get to the grid overlay, just cycle by hitting O until you get there. I'm going to do a little bit of an adjustment here. And it's just a really minor one, but I can tell it's just a little tiny bit off on that first version. So that's fine right there. It's, we moved it by like two pixels. But whatever. We're perfecting here, guys. We are perfectionists. So let's hit O1 and we're going to hit minor crop. We're placing each one of these snapshots as uh, with a number because we want them to line up kind of in order. So putting as 01 is going to make sure that it stays in order versus just going by alphabet. So let's go to this one. Let's hit R again. We have a minor crop that needs to be done on this one. We're going to drag here, click, and pull down a little bit just to straighten up that line a tiny bit. Uh, and that's fine right there. With this image and with other images that we might run into is we're going to have little uh, issues from lens distortion. And so we see a little bit of a a kind of a crooked horizon, it's just a tiny bit crooked, but what we're seeing in this bend is actually lens distortion. So don't confuse the two. We actually fix distortion in a lens by making those uh, transform adjustments, which we're gonna get to later. So let's go to create a new snapshot. We're gonna go zero one, minor crop. All right, let's go to the next image. This one's fine. This next one's fine. I think most of these next ones are gonna be okay. Let's see, let's see this image on the uh, on the bicycle. Let's check that out. Whoops, there we go. Okay, now I do see an issue with this image, and what we want to do is crop to the strongest line. That's always the rule in cropping, guys, is to crop to the strongest line. You might have tons of lines in an image, but there's going to be one that kind of kind of has all the weight, and that's where you want to place the crop on. Uh, so what we're going to do is hit R. We're going to drag and pull this, and I'm going to test which line that is, and I'm going to guess the line that we want to crop to is actually the line on the road as well as this bike line right here. And it looks like straightening out those should actually make it pretty good. And it looks fine right there. If we have certain images that have strong lines, but we crop to a different line, you'll notice that it doesn't quite look right. It'll have something that kind of looks off about it. All right, next image. Oops, we forgot to save that as a snapshot. Let's save this as a snapshot. Uh, we'll go 0, 1, minor crop. Let's actually cycle through on the grid view, actually, so it goes a little bit quicker. So I'm going to switch to my, uh, actually, my loop view. Sorry, hit E to go back to the library loop view. And let's cycle through and just see if there's any other ones that need 
a cropping adjustment. Now these are creative twists, so I wouldn't necessarily crop these images uh, unless I feel like it just doesn't work. One thing to be careful of as photographers is that especially new photographers, uh, we twist too much when we get into photography. We feel like it's artistic and we actually twist too much and everything looks like it's falling over. So just be careful of that uh, and not to twist too much when you have really strong horizon lines. You'll notice that we don't twist a lot when there is a super strong horizon line. We're twisting when there really is no really strong definition lines, uh, you know, creating a horizon or anything like that. Um, I mean, you can twist on a horizon line. You can break the rules when you guys know them, but just know the rules before you guys go and break them. So that's kind of my little bit of advice. All right, guys, moving on to this iPhone image. This one could use a little bit of an adjustment. And really, most of what we see is actually distortion, but there is a little bit of a slant in that line. So we're just going to pull up a tiny bit on the left side. And what I'm looking for now is to make sure that the ocean to this line right here is the same space as the ocean to the line on the right side. And it looks like right there it's about right. The rest of that curve is caused by the actual distortion of the lens, which we'll fix later on. So we're going to save this as minor crop. All right, let's go on. We're going to go back to our loop view by hitting E. And let's keep cycling through. Is there any other ones? Let's see. This image, that's ah, fine the way it is. All right, let's keep going, keep going. Let's just look at our crop on this one and see if it's good. Looks like our horizon line is pretty dang close on this one. I'm going to might twist just a little tiny bit just to make a small minor adjustment. We got to be perfectionists, right? Actually, we don't got to be perfectionists, guys. That's one thing I would say be careful about. <laughs> All right, that's good right there. I'm going to hit R, and then we're going to save this as our 01 minor crop. We're not going to necessarily do this uh, same adjustment type style with every single image that we go through. I just want to do this with our crop because we do want to have really nice crops with all of our image, uh, all our images, not one. I want to say plural, not singular. Okay, so this has a little tiny uh, issue with this line right here. It's a little bit slanted, so we're going to again twist. Again, when the line is really close to, like when it lines up really well with my grid and I can see it clearly, it's really easy just to drag and, and kind of adjust the crop you know, from my grid view. Uh, I'm going to center this up so that that center point is right over that diamond. Hit R, save this as minor crop. All right, let's go on. Okay, I'm going to twist this just a little bit. And that's fine right there. Let's say zero one minor crop. We already got our minor crop on this one. Let's go on. That one's fine. This one looks good. Let's see, yeah, that line is pretty good. I try and do um, you know, in-camera lining up, so I'm actually using my focal points to make sure my horizon line is lined up. Now, you kind of sometimes will miss that, but uh, or if you're in a rush, you might not do it on every single photo, but doing that in-camera will save you a lot of time because most of these images that we're actually adjusting right now really have such minor issues with the uh, horizon line that they really don't need correction, but we're just going to do it anyway. So for the sake of kind of the tutorial and also for having, uh, you know, really nice images. So let's go through. That one's fine. This one's fine. Okay. This is kind of an example of an image that has um, two different lines in this image that we can crop to. We want to crop to the strongest line. And so there's lines on the staircase. Uh, and there's also this line from the pool table. Now, just from experience, I know that the line from the pool table is going to be the strongest line. And you guys can feel that just by looking at it. So if I do actually crop to the staircase, so if I actually, or not crop, but straighten to the staircase, if I take this straighten line tool, drag it across the staircase, and have this adjust based on the staircase, we're going to feel like the image is slanted. Even though the staircase is straight now, we feel like the image is slanted and this ta pool table is sloping down. So that means we've corrected to the wrong line. So we need to basically undo that. I'm going to hit uh, R and then Alt Control R to reset my crop or Option Command R on a Mac. And we're going to do that one more time. And this time we're going to actually correct just to that pool table. And it looks like in camera is actually really dang close. So let's just correct the pool table, which is right about I think there. What I'm doing here is I'm lining up this line right here to the black shadow right there, all the way across to the right side of the table as well. So it looks like right about there is good. I want this center point to be right over her head and be centered on the image. And that's fine right there. We're going to save this as 01 minor crop. And notice that we don't get that feeling now that is miscropped because we cropped to the strongest line. All right, guys, that's the last of our images as far as the minor cropping goes. Uh, let's move on to major cropping.